Hello and welcome to Wake Up and Smell the Prophet S&P and Q's review for end of day Friday the 7th at 4.56 p.m. Central Time. This is an update to the video 519 on June 2nd, I believe. That was another bull market update. So you can compare the two, but I did change the rules for calling a bear market in this SPX 1500 daily high low percent. So I now have it two indexes at 10% or above to make a bull market. And that's because the bars hit 10% either on the plus side or the downside a lot. So you can see the mid cap here nailed the 10% here and up here in June for the large cap twice, once down here for the mid cap, once over here for the small cap and another one here for the small cap that you can see in the thumbnail over here for the small cap. So that's a well deserved change to the rule for calling the bull market. And you can see that the high low percent here for all three indexes are calling for a bull market so you can see the mid cap here back in June small cap was at 10 percent and then subsequently the large cap went above 10 percent so did the mid cap and then the large cap again and the small cap so this whole area here indicates a bull market call for the high low percent for the SPX 1500 now we'll move on to the moving averages and the rules stay the same here. It must have at least two indexes above positive 80 to call a bull market or below negative 80 to call the bear market like back here. So you can see we were in the bull market back here in February and then went back into the bear market in March and if you go back and look at the high low percent that was the same thing bull market here back into a bear market here so you can see that this called the bull market here since coming out of the bear market here we have three indexes above their positive 80 line here so that's the 20 simple moving average call for the bull market we're going to look at the 200 now and the rules stayed the same for this at least two indexes above its plus 60 to call a bull market or negative 60 to call the bear market and you can see the bear market back here just like all the other ones in March and coming out of that bear market we're now in a bull market as the mid cap has gone above 60 right here probably July 6th again and we have two instances up here on the large cap and now we wait for the 50 simple moving average to call the bull market by getting at least two indexes above the positive 80 to call the bull market or negative 80 to call the bear market but we're coming out of the bear market again just like everything else over here in March and it came very close over here I believe that's July 3rd so close but no cigars they say you can see the mid cap was a little bit less than 80 maybe 79 78 but yeah this one didn't even tie it that dot is definitely below the green line so it's close and it wants to get up there you can see even though today was a pretty bad day on Friday that the small cap and the mid cap made a move for the 80 percent positive line and the S&P 500 just went sideways I guess there was some buying at the end and it did end up in the green I believe now it ended up in the red I believe let's see the market hours yeah everything was pretty much in the red so it did pretty good for the moving averages getting towards 80 but no bull market yet so there's a lot of traders and investors trading on 
the hopes that we're in a bull market and my rules say no so but those are my rules and then the storefront money managers care very little about bull markets calls or anything like that they just need to get everybody back into the market so they can keep their jobs and then when the bottom falls out then they have meetings and field thousands of phone calls saying stay invested and all the virtues of doing that staying invested even though you're bleeding profusely out of your wallet so yeah no bull market yet but it's close